Hello, folks. I'm Representative Rick Saccone. Patrick Henry, a symbol of America's struggle for liberty and self-government during the American Revolutionary days, once said, the liberties of a people never were nor ever will be secure when the transactions of their rulers may be concealed from them. As Henry noted, a government can only ensure liberty when its citizens have access to information about key actions taken by elected and appointed officials. Unfortunately, in our Commonwealth, this is not always the case, particularly at the local level of government. Take a look at our authorities, which are spending billions of dollars on housing, water, sewer infrastructure, airports, parking lots, and convention centers, often doing so with little state oversight. These authorities stretch across the state, totaling around 1,500 entities, which unfortunately rarely produce any meaningful public record of their activities. These entities spend millions and even billions of dollars on the public's behalf on sewer infrastructure, airports, parking lots, and convention centers, as I said. Our Auditor General, Eugene D. Pasquale, has called these authorities the largest unaccountable form of government. Our state law even bars our Auditor General from fully auditing any municipal authorities. The current law limits the state's financial watchdog to audit only a portion of an authority's money that come from state grants. What is alarming is that 1,570 authorities in 2015 reported $28.6 billion in outstanding debt. That would equate to $5,800 per household if we relied on taxpayers to pay off this debt. Our state, which has 4,897 authorities, ranked only behind Illinois and Texas, according to a U.S. Census report. The Commonwealth's authorities are divided into more than 2,600 units, which is the most of any state. In Pittsburgh, they created a water and sewer authority in 1984 as a way to take on a $200 million infrastructure project. Fast forward to the present, and the authority is $750 million in debt and recently voted to increase rates in 2017 and 2018. The Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority stated years of infrastructure neglect as the reason for the increase, which is the problem they were tasked with fixing. The Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority has also come under sharp criticism after Pennsylvania Auditor General Eugene DePasquale released findings of incompetent leadership. In his report, he states, the biggest issue we have is the failure with respect to competent and consistent leadership. So yes, absolutely, we're concerned about that, unquote. This report was initiated after the DEP handed out violations to the facility for issues such as higher lead units and failure to properly operate and maintain public water systems and facilities. In the report, the city controller, Michael Lamb, stated that everywhere he turned at the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority, there was a problem, whether it was in the leadership, whether it was in the lead issue, whether it was in the rising debt concerns, customer service, at every turn, he encountered problems. As I mentioned before, these, these authorities have too little oversight and can't be fully audited under state law. They're essentially a hidden or an invisible government. Given the fact that these units meet privately to discuss important issues, any major decisions are usually made without informing the public. I have recently introduced legislation that would force more transparency on these hidden authorities. House Bill 37, requires an agency holding a closed door session to make an official verbatim audio or video recording of the complete executive session and retain the recording for a period of one year. My bill would establish clear guidelines for when executive sessions could be called and it would create a detailed record of proceedings to make sure that any executive sessions are conducted in full compliance of the law. This bill deals with all government agencies, not just authorities. Over the past few months, I have heard many constituents express a level of concern over executive session abuse. In fact, only a few people attend government meetings because they often feel that important decisions are made in private. I'm confident my piece of legislation will restore your faith in our local government and make sure that you are able to hear and see the deliberation as my bill mandates. Just like the founding fathers who came before us, you, my friend, are also defenders of liberty. I'm optimistic that my bill will become law 
to give you more tools in your arsenal to ensure government, whether local, state, or federal, plays by the rules and that tyranny does not prevail. Until next time, in God we trust.